Shalom from Hebron. This is Gary Cooperberg of Project Shofar, the voice from Hebron. We sound the Shofar for you. That's the sound of the trumpet calling the Jewish people home from all over the world. The Jewish state was rebuilt, recreated by the God of Israel for the purpose of the ingathering of the exiles. I don't understand why most people don't seem to understand this. It is not a political entity. It is not a normal country. It's a state that was created as part of fulfillment of biblical prophecy. The Jewish people were dispersed from this land over 2,000 years ago when the temple was destroyed by the Romans. We were exiled to all over the world, all different places. We were hated, we were dispersed, we were beaten. We faced pogroms, a holocaust. Any other nation that would have been thrown out of its homeland for 2,000 years would have melted and become part of all the other nations of the world. It is a most incredible miracle that there is even one Jew still recognizably alive today. And yet we have an entire people, a tiny people, we're one of the smallest peoples there are, yet we still maintain our Jewish identity, our beliefs, our Torah, which we have given to mankind as a, as a guide to morality, which most people do not, do not accept. We have a purpose in this world. Our purpose is to show the entire world that there is a God. And what better way can we do that than by coming home in spite of all of the obstacles, in spite of all of the mistakes of our own leadership, in spite of all our enemies who have been wanting to destroy us ever since we came into being. When the, the statehood was first announced, the Arab nations came to destroy us. They wanted to throw us into the sea. In 1967, they tried again. Today, we have a, an Iranian dictator that thinks he's going to blow us off the map. They all tried, they all failed, and they all will fail. For only one reason, because this is a biblical process and this is God's will. God wants us to come home. God wants us to build our country. God wants us to live as proud, observant Jews following his law. Because when the nations of the world see how we prosper, when we follow his law, they will want to emulate us and be like us and follow God, worship God, and love God. That's what our purpose is. We're not to, uh, supposed to dictate to people. We're supposed to set the example. And until now, we're not doing a very good job. We haven't been setting a very good example. But this is biblical prophecy. This is our destiny. This is what's going to happen whether we wish to participate or not. Now, most of my people are still in exile, although we still have, we have, we're growing all the time here in, in Israel. Most of my people are still happy living in exile, and they shouldn't be. For 2,000 years, we were praying for the time we could come home. We're finally granted our, our homeland, our state, and most of us choose to just stay in exile. This is a, a terrible sin, which is re resulting in tragedy and will result in further tragedy if we don't end it as soon as possible. This is why I sound the shofar. This is why I go all over the world trying to explain to people why it's so important that we come home. I notice that there are Christian Zionists who recognize the divine process and want to support it, who are shouting out to the world, look, look, the Jewish people are coming home. And these people are also shunned by, by their fellow uh, uh, religionists who don't agree, who feel that there's a different chosen people today. Well, the facts speak for themselves. The Jewish people who has been dispersed is coming home. We must try to hasten the process. We must try to participate. We must try to express our faith in God. That's what all of us have to do. That's the bottom line right here. Now, the voice from Hebron is my way of, of issuing uh, signs that, of, of what's going on to show that the current events are really a continuation of what God's will is. I issue uh, newsletters every week. You can get them for free by signing up at my 
website, www.projectchauffeur.org, or, uh, and you can also write to me if you wish. I'd, be lo I'd love to hear from people. You want to invite me to speak in your neighborhood, I'll go anywhere I'm invited. You can write to me at Gary at projectchauffeur.org, and I would love to hear from you. Uh, I will try to present more videos in the future. This is my first attempt, and uh, I'd like to hear from you wh what you think about that as well. Okay, for, so right now I'll be signing off and thanking you for joining me. Shalom from Hebron. Hello.